Hello everyone, Tootsie Forever here, and you know what is great? Live streaming. More importantly, events that are being streamed live as you and hundreds, if not even thousands of viewers are all participating in the live chat, commenting, excited, slash complaining about the raw powers of an unedited, unscripted live performance. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys all have phones, phone, right? When you were watching one of these live events, did you ever think to yourself and say, You know what this live stream needs? More ponies. I wish Friendship is Magic would do a live stream like this. It would be so cool. Ugh. No, no one has because that would be stupid. Well, after diving into my inner thoughts deep inside my mind, I got a vague memory that started to resurface of character ruining moments four years before Pony Life made a whole show out of it. Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, I present to you the first ever and last My Little Pony official live stream. What could possibly go wrong? Let's head back to the year of 2017. Hasbro collaborated with Lionsgate in order to bring the My Little Pony brand to the big screen, which was to be released later that year. To promote the upcoming film, Lionsgate partnered with Avatar Labs, who specializes in digital marketing to create an interactive experience to promote the release of the film in a way that would connect fans directly with their favorite ponies. They collaborated with DHX Media, who provided the library of character assets used for the film, along with short custom animations which could be keyed during the streaming event. They used facial recognition and lip synchro capabilities to capture the movements and voices of Andrea Libman and Tara Strong, who would both be providing the voices of Pinkie Pie and Twilight Sparkle, respectively. Now, the livestream itself took place on the My Little Pony official Facebook page, which started at 5 p.m. on September 12th of 2017. Man, that would have been awkward if it started the day before. The live event only lasted for 20 minutes, which included scripted and improvised dialogue, along with some custom animations interacting with the live chat that could have gone horribly, horribly wrong depending on who tuned in. I actually remember when this event took place as I was at work at the time when I got the notification on my phone. I didn't get to watch much of it, but luckily one of my buddies was keeping me up to date on everything that was happening. And from what he was saying, it was kind of weird. Since it was done from Facebook and mostly improvised with the chat itself that consisted of viewers ranging from parents and kids combined with the bronies who chimed in at the time, we got the ponies talking about the Apple presentation featuring the new iPhone, Apple Watch, and Apple TV, which took place earlier in the day and responded to fans calling out the names of those who asked for shoutouts and answering questions in real time. By the way, where have you been? I got distracted watching the new smartphone keynote. What's a smartphone? Take a selfie! With this being done live with motion capture, the character models themselves don't have enough movement or wiggle room to really have any expression. In fact, all they do is just look at you and stare into your soul, which kind of makes you feel a little uncomfortable when they're just talking to the camera and just look a little brain dead. No disrespect to Andrea Lindman or Tara Strong as the actresses themselves didn't have much direction given to them as they interrupt each other off and on or don't know what to say, leading to some long pauses and a few awkward moments like where Pinkie Pie just falls asleep in the middle of the stream and Twilight just stands there silently. I also never expected to hear ponies talk about anything to do with modern pop culture as it's just so weird hearing Pinkie Pie bring up Ariana Grande's ponytail being more famous than her, while Twilight talks about Katy Perry, which isn't the first time My Little Pony had something to do with the famous singer. I just love reading the live chat as it's such a clash between parents watching it with their kids and fans watching it with their little pony plushies. It also didn't help that Equestria Daily posted this event on their website, leading the chat to be flooded with everyone trying to get their favorite ponies to notice them. Or date them. They asked the chat who should perform as an opening act for Songbird Serenade. 
Most of them replied with fandom musicians such as The Living Tombstone or Black Griffin, and you can tell the actresses are trying their best to just read the kids commenting and ignoring all the others. Oh look, there's Drummer Shy. This right here is everything I could have expected from a cheap My Little Pony movie livestream advertisement. In fact, here's some of the funny moments that I've found in the chat. Mmm, that sounds really delicious. Let's see what else our friends are hungry for. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra tip. You'll surely be friend with Maya C. Furry sunshine fake smile. My daughter Asuna is in heaven right now. <laughs> That's a real love slapper! <laughs> My goodness, I love jokes! The amount of grown-up people here, especially dudes, is too scary. That person knows that friendship really is magic. Mm -hmm. We just survived Hurricane Irma. Can you give a shout out to everyone in Florida, especially Trinity? Oh, that sounds beyond amazing! So fantastic! I can't wait to see more! Now, the live stream itself was an interesting attempt at engaging with fans in order to build hype for the upcoming My Little Pony movie. However, I just don't think it was planned out that well or thought out that much at all. Well, who cares what I think, as supposedly it was a massive success that garnered 67,000 views, 2,700 likes, and 722 shares on Facebook. They had a consistent viewer ratio over 200 viewers, and fans of all ages seemed to enjoy the whole event. I even found out while doing research for this video that it won the 2017 Shorty Award in the live streaming category, so good on them. I really hope you guys enjoyed this piece of pony history, and if you really want to support this channel, we've been eligible for channel memberships, so $1 a month you can be credited at the end of my video. I'm Tootsie Forever, and thank you for watching.